Well, hello and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today I thought it'd be really fun to give you guys a living room tour. We've just taken down all of the Christmas decor and it's, we've got these last couple months of winter left in front of us. And I think it's one of those times of year where a lot of us struggle with how to put our homes back together. So I thought it'd be really fun to just share with you from our own home what I've done. I didn't buy anything for the room. The only thing I did actually buy is a little bit of flowers for the vase. Otherwise, all I did was move things back into the space and restyle up the things that I already had. So I'll just show you what I've done and uh, maybe you'll find some little inspiration out of this. I hope it'll be a lot of fun. I'm gonna hopefully work my way around the room and end at the bookshelves because I've got them styled up completely different than when we first got them. So we've had a lot of fun deliveries over the past couple months and I'm gonna be sharing all that with you. It's, just, it's been crazy, right? The holidays, I feel like you just, it's all about Christmas and that holiday decor, but we had some big deliveries. So I've got a lot of new stuff to share with you. Make sure you hit subscribe so you do not miss out when we style this thing up for spring in just a few weeks. It's gonna be so much fun. I've already got a lot of ideas running through my head and I can't wait. Let's dive into today's video. gonna not be able to do this with my coffee in my hand. So let me just set this down for a second. <laughs> okay, so what did we do? Well, the first thing that we did is obviously we emptied the room completely. And that's something that I say all the time is empty your space. After the holidays, it's a little easier to empty your space, but a lot of times it, start it starts to feel really cold in your space and maybe just a little bit empty and it can be a little bit sad. So I decided that this year I was just gonna go a little bit overboard and refill the room with quite a lot of stuff and it actually worked. It kind of tricked our, our eye into feeling like we weren't missing out on that holiday decor. So I brought back the fiddle fig back into our space. I brought my spheres back into the room of course it's still winter so we've got the fireplace going right now and I brought back a basket with some wood I actually just bought that little birch wood off of Amazon I didn't even know you could do that and I was like oh I'd really like to have something for that basket and lo and behold they had it so I was like hey that's great so a couple other things that I did is of course you guys the iconic fireplace it's painted black. It's actually Midnight Oil by Benjamin Moore if you're just tuning in. And the rest of the walls in this are um, Polar Bear by Bear when Simply White is another one by uh, Benjamin Moore that's the same. So now we've got that out of the way. <laughs> we added a, a mirror over the fireplace for the holidays. I thought it would be really pretty to really finish off the room for the holidays and I think we're gonna keep it for now. And it's been a little bit controversial. It's funny because some people just do not want anything to change in the house. And so some people have been like, oh no, like I can't believe you put a mirror up. And other people are like, finally. So you'll have to let us know down in the comments which one of those people you are. Do you like the new mirror over the fireplace or did you like it better with nothing up there? Um, that's what's fun is that we can always take it down and we don't have to keep it. But I. I put it up because I thought it would finish out my holiday decor. And that one is from Restoration Hardware. It's quite hard to find them that big. So it can be a little bit of a challenge, but they've also got some stuff, uh, well, they've, uh, they've also got some great options on places like Amazon and Wayfair as well. If you wanna, if you don't need something quite as big as I do. One of the other things I did is that I really styled up this fireplace area. I put a lot of things back up here. This is one of the things that I love that the French do. I always see the Parisian, you know, the cool Parisian girls. They always seem to have their fireplaces decorated. So I go back and forth because sometimes I like things really, really simple and clean line. And then other times I just get in the mood where I just wanna see my stuff. I wanna have it out. I wanna just enjoy it. So at the moment, I've got it probably about as loaded as I'll ever have it. <laughs> but I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying, uh, I've got the vase from H&M. It's overflowing with a couple branches off of our camellia bushes. The flowers turned this really pretty like 
They're all like almost like a brownish, orangish kind of color. And even though they aren't white, I still thought that they were beautiful. And they kind of tie in actually to the browns in the rest of the room. So I thought they were really pretty and it was free <laughs> to grab them out of my yard. Then I have a little, this little artichoke planter. Uh, I love it just because it's, it's literally meant for the garden. It's meant for outdoors. I bought it at a garden center. And I love pieces like that because they're just a little bit rustic. And that against that bronze, it's just such a pretty mix, I think, to just have something rustic against something a little bit shiny. Uh, and then I've got Michelangelo, AD100. At the moment, um, Jack did not light the candles. I'm usually the one that lights the candles in the room, and I, I got busy this morning. But yeah, I've got uh, Candlefish there, my favorite spiritual. This is the one I'm gonna light up next. This is my favorite candle of all times. I'm really into bringing in a fresh scent. I think that's really important at this time of year. So Spiritual is my ultimate favorite, but uh, Candlefish number eight is another one that's really light and fresh. Let's see that is number, yeah, it's number eight. It just has a really light, fresh kind of feel, and I think it's really nice to change up your fragrances a bit. If you've got some that are left over from the holidays, I'd mix them in with these. I think it's really nice to have that fir, cedar, wood smoke kind of smell mixed in with something really fresh. I, I like that fragrance, so don't be afraid to mix in a new one and then maybe add one in that you've already got from the holidays still left over. Then I've got this gorgeous vase that I found on CB2, and it's got like little scales on it, I think it's really fun. Uh, it's It keeps selling out. <laughs> so I'll link to this one and another alternative for you guys. I've actually got a lamp up here at the moment and I do not have a plug up here. So I've got the cord kind of tucked behind there. It's a little style hat for you. I wanted this, this sphere shape to be up here. Um, I just like the sculptural feel of these things. I like the, the sphere mixed with the chain that's just kind of draping down. We've got Picasso's sculpture. This is the authentic home and that book keeps selling out. I, I didn't realize it was a limited print or else I would have told you guys to go grab it faster. But it is a beautiful book and I do like that linen cover. And I'll give you a couple options. You're gonna see in the house, we've got a couple uh, alternatives that you could use for this spot. But it's an easy way to just really grab the things that you like and use the fireplace as a shelf. Because for me, I don't have any bookshelves, I don't have anything else on this space. So instead, everything around it is very simple and then the fireplace has a little bit extra. So let's move, are we gonna move counterclockwise? Ooh, let's do that. Let's move counterclockwise because the sun is coming in this space and it's gonna get super sunny in just a minute. Over here, I have left the piece. Uh, this is a dresser from Restoration Hardware. Uh, I really like having this dresser here. It's where we store, it's the junk drawers <laughs> for my husband, dog stuff, and then it's got some extra linens and some toilet paper and things because we don't have any storage closets in this house. There's no linen closet and there's a tiny coat closet, but that's about it. So we really struggle with storage. So this piece, it works hard. Uh, one of the little things I have here, I don't know if you can see it as well with it on. Let me turn that off for you so you can see it better. I've got this really pretty lamp that I found on Amazon. I like that it just added some height. I brought in a piece that I just painted myself here. And then I have this little pretty piece that we found at, at the antique market. And it was just a, a, like a sheet of paper that was torn out of a book and I thought it was really pretty. So I just framed that. And then I've got these really rustic vases that are really big. Uh, I've left one without anything in it at the moment and then one has the, the cedar still in it. That's a faux cedar that I got off of Amazon. And I kind of mixed a little bit because I want the room to feel still a little bit wintry but not too Christmassy. So I've left a little bit of that green in here. I took out the, the pine branches. It just felt a little too heavy for me. And instead, I've just kept things really light and airy. One of my recent purchases, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that we were down at Boxwood Gardens in Atlanta. They have beautiful antiques and it's an, an amazing garden inspiration and also shopping area, shopping 
boutique. It's an amazing boutique as well. So I found this really cool bust. I've got a Pharaoh and I bought Cleopatra, I bought the set. And I just thought that those were just about as cool as they could be. So yes, I've got those here. I've got still, I've got to refill my matchstick holders. They're, they're empty now, but I've got to refill them today. Just order refills off of Amazon. And then I've got the base candle from Diptyque. Again, nice, fresh scent. I'm kind of alternating between them and which one gets its turn. <laughs> You're not supposed to burn candles for ever more than three hours. So if I burn something in the morning, I'll probably burn something different in the evening. Then I've got this beautiful little sculptural piece. I just found this on H&M. So it's really a mix of antiques, antique finds, little Amazon, little RH. This is stuff that I love. And that's what I really wanted. I wanted to start this year off really filling my house up with things that I love, things that mean something to us, and things that we just really enjoy. And I'm less focused on what is in style or you know what's trending and more of just what do I take deep pleasure in? What do I really enjoy? Let me fill my house up with that. So yeah, these are, I guess I did buy one thing. I did say I only bought flowers, but I did buy those. Well, all right, you guys will forgive me for that. <laughs> this console table in right before the holidays started. This piece is this piece is from Restoration Hardware and I just decided to have a little bit of a matching moment because I put this matching the bookshelves. I'll show you those in just a second. So I've got a little mix of furniture but I didn't want to have too many mixed pieces. So I decided that it would be really nice to have the console table behind the sofa. Originally I had the Ikea one here and I've actually still got it in the room. It's just on the other side. I thought this would be a little bit more of an elevated piece for this area. And what's really nice about this is that it has a lot of storage. So I'm able to put vases and books. I've got the kids games and card games and all that kind of stuff just shoved down underneath here. So it gave me some closed storage. I like having the lamp behind the sofa like this. We have a very strange home in the fact that it's completely open. So when you come in, there's no entry. So in a way, this piece and the other one almost kind of provide a little bit of a segue for us and almost a little bit of a divider that this is the living room over here. This is the entry over here. So it is nice. I've got this amazing, I think this is actually made of alabaster, onyx, onyx. I got this really cool piece from CB2. Uh, the, the little lamp is from Amazon, if you can believe that. And then I've got this book. I have been obsessing over this book. I had to tear it away from myself. I've had it in the, in the bedroom and uh, I like it because I work out usually in the bedroom. And so when I'm working out, I'll like flip a page and then have something to look at. <laughs> I just love it, okay? This book is Three Houses by Rose Tarlow, and it is absolutely a feast for the eyes. I love this brown tone. I love the fact that I can leave this open and it brings a little bit of warmth onto my console table. I've got this little guy. It's just some random little wood carving. I think I found him, I don't even remember now. I think I found him at a flea market but I just, I love these kinds of things. I, we actually lived in Africa for three years and when I was younger, I actually went to South Africa. And so we've just always had a passion for African little carvings and things. And so, yeah, I love to have like quirky, quirky little fun things just kind of put in there. And then these are some vases that are handmade and I bought them at a really beautiful shop down on 30A, which is a great place to visit if you are near Florida and you want a fun, uh, just a fun place to visit. We have finally arrived at the bookshelves and let me just open this so you guys can really see 
what is in here. These were one of our big splurges for this area because I, I've been saving for years. I had the Ikea cabinets here before and those were really great, especially for like storage. We still have the cabinets. I'm using them down in the basement. But the only thing that they couldn't provide me was really that vertical, that vertical height. And I really just like that these black ones balance out the black fireplace. I thought that that was a really nice way of pulling the room together and adding just one last final bit of that black color. So these are absolutely amazing. I think that actually our house sells something similar and they're a little bit less expensive. It just depends on the size of the room that you have and what you need. So I'll link up both for you. But in here I have things, you can see I've got uh, the Vero in here and then the Cleopatra from earlier. They came as a little set, but they are separated. I just thought maybe it'd be really nice to separate them. Um, but yeah, I, I've got some things that are really rustic sitting up on the top up here. I've got the little sphere like this. These are just little garden items that you can find at your garden center. Sometimes Restoration Hardware will carry stuff like this. Uh, it's getting a little bit harder to find it all. <laughs> Actually, I think a lot of you guys have been looking for them too. And so I would check your garden center and I will try my best to link up something that you can find um, online. So at the moment, I have not really decorated these. I really just kind of put my things into them and just let it be. I, I haven't come in and fussed with it. I put my black books over here. I've got Kate Moss in Vogue. I've got the marble bowl from Restoration Hardware. It's really pretty and really heavy. Uh, Jack's got a candle. This is, does not get lit inside of here. It's just sitting in here. That's by Apotech. And then I've got a slew of books. These are the ones that I, the break <laughs> that I took from uh, Christmas until New Year. I spent the entire, almost the entire time sitting on the sofa and reading books and sitting by the fire. And there were a couple days where I literally barely got up from that spot. We just served breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks literally right there and just read books. So if you're wondering what I was reading, this is my stack. I've got Bunny Williams, An Affair with a House. I've got Glamorous Living, At Home in the Cotswolds. I've got uh, The Country House. That one's amazing. Oh, Houses of National Trust. Oh my goodness, amazing stuff. Uh, India Hicks, uh, A Slice of England, Entertaining Beautifully. Those were kind of the newer stack that I've been reading and enjoying. And then down here, I've got some of the stuff that I've had for a while, like Ken Folk's book, uh, Visions of Earth. I've got a vase that I found at Home Goods. I brought this little guy back out. I found him while we were in Copenhagen. And I've been telling you guys, I just missed having some frames with a little bit of character. I just buy these at like vintage shops and antique stores. I bought this one at a flea market. I think I paid like $2 for this when I was in Copenhagen. They were really great flea markets there. Then I've got the Cire Tridon candle. God, it smells so good. You can just, it's, it fragrances the cabinet. So even when you open the cabinet, you can really just kind of smell the candles. So even when you've burnt them down, they're still useful because you can still smell that fragrance in there. I've got a little sparrow that I bought while we were in Portugal. I've got my, uh, this is one of my husband's favorite things and the kids too. They like to turn them over the little glass timers. I've got just a little uh, piece of Scandinavian design in here. It doesn't have a candle in it at the moment because I'm not gonna burn it in here. And uh, yeah, just kind of put a few things together. These are the little dough bowl sets that I found these on Amazon, but they keep selling out. So I'll try to give you guys some links to some items like that. But yeah, and then down at the bottom, I've got something really modern. So you can see that it is really an eclectic mix of all the things that I love. And I use a neutral palette to pull all of those eclectic things together. So um, yeah, I don't know that we have time to check out the other cabinet. Are you guys gonna be mad at me if we don't? Okay, let's go look at it for just a second, okay? <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out how to get you guys in the room with the tripod and uh, be able to show this to you. This side is definitely not finished. I've got some empty space up here where I could put some more things. I've got Judy the bust uh, sitting at the top and then I have like this really cool vase that I found on Amazon. Uh, it's just, it's fun because sometimes you can find some really authentic clay items. I always try to link if those items are sold out though because they do tend to sell out pretty quickly. I gotta get this door to where it stays open. Uh, they may, I think when they installed it, it was a little bit tight, but 
I've just got some art pieces in here, some more of those African busts that you guys know that I love. When I put this together the first go, I had it very, very simple, very pared back, and there was almost nothing in here. And then I was like, you know what? I just really miss all of those little African carvings. I miss having my busts. And I've got everything from the marble tic-tac-toe board here, stacked with lots of books, and I just started to really fill it in with the book. So on this side, I've got a little bit more. I've got Veranda, The Out uh, Art of Outdoor Living. I've got Chateau de Heru. Uh, I've got Dior in Bloom. I've got a real mix of books. And then I have these little vessels that, again, another Amazon find, and loaded with some moss, Amazon. You can find some really great stuff on Amazon, and I think that's what's so nice is that you don't have to feel confined by a budget. Um, it is nice sometimes that if you have a little bit more, you can find some fun things and have a little bit more options, but I feel like there's a lot of options if you're trying to stick to a budget as well. So let's head over here. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna sit you guys so I can show you everything. Let's try over here. Okay, so over here, as you can see, I actually left the pillows just as they were over the holidays. I've got it very much loaded up at the moment. A little bit more of a maximal moment for me instead of the paired back. I tend to do really, really paired back during the summer, and I tend to pile things on a lot during the fall and winter season. It's just how I am. It's just how I like things to be, I guess. And at the moment, I've got it with some pillows from CB2, a little H&M mixed in here. I've got some really pretty blankets. Uh, I've got a mix of things in the room. I've got one from CB2, I've got the fur from CB2, and I've got this one from H&M Home. So I know what I'm looking for, and I you know, look around and see what I can find. Back here, I've got some items. This is a beautiful handmade vase from the same company uh, that I was telling you guys about with the cylinders, the white cylinder ones. They've got some gorgeous pieces. And I just filled this up with some really pretty flowers to just help the space just feel lighter and brighter. I've got Koichi Takata. It's an architectural book. This is the wood smoke candle. I love this candle so much. It smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. I've really been enjoying that. It really makes the room smell like there's a fire going. And so that just, it just is so fragrant. And then I've got this gorgeous vase that I found at CB2. Look at that cool texture on that. It's just a fun little sculptural moment. It's not as practical for putting flowers in. I would really recommend buying it more as just a sculpture because it's really hard to put flowers in. The thing that I will use this for is like one long branch. That will look really good in this, but it has a very small opening on the top. So this gonna be hard to put a whole bunch of stuff in it the way that this one can fit a lot of flowers. I've got historic Charleston and Low Country, Old Homes, New Life. These books are amazing. I wish that I need to do like a whole book tour and just show you guys all my favorite books. And then I've got these really cool little vessels sitting here. So a little bit of modernness, a little bit of like a classic feel. The CB2 lamp just adds that nice punch with that limestone in here. It's just a really nice earthy material. And I think when you mix that with all of these pillows, it gives you a sort of classic modern feel that I personally just really love. So over here on the coffee table, I've got a few little things that I just really love. I pulled out a great rattan basket because I felt like that texture, it's a little bit of a nod to spring, but I was using that over the winter to serve hot chocolates and cookies for Santa on. So I really just felt like it was a seasonless tray, but it does to me have a little bit of a summery feel when you pair it with things that are really light. So I bought that one actually at Home Goods, but I'll link to something similar. I've got the Louis Vuitton book sitting there right now. I've got these gorgeous little bowls, uh, the vase from Pottery Barn just loaded with flowers. I feel like 
a bouquet of flowers, even if it's just from the grocery store, goes a really long way in your space and it really just makes this feel like a new season has arrived. It, there's just something about flowers. Flowers, books, and chocolates. I, I feel like if you have those three things, life is gonna be great. I've got this gorgeous sculpture. I bought this from CB2. I like it because it's really big. I find it hard to find accessories that are big enough. They can, a lot of times you'll find something that's a little bit smaller and it just doesn't fill out the space the same way. And I didn't wanna have as much stuff because I've got the house I've got the rest of this packed out pretty well. And so I didn't want a lot on the coffee table. And so I've just got the little sphere. I've got some fun things, just like these little matches sitting here. These are another little Amazon find. I've got the matchstick uh, lighter. This is another one. This is from, uh, as you can tell, we love candles. <laughs> I should say, I should say uh, flowers, books, and candles. <laughs> That's the way to happiness for me. But uh, yeah, this little guy is from Jonathan Adler. They, he always has such fun, quirky little things. Then I've got, this is a book. When we went to Charleston, if you guys saw our last vlog, we went to Charleston and one of the books that she had sitting on the table was the French Royal Wardrobe. And uh, I just freaked out over it. I love all the architecture in this book. It's not about clothing. It's actually about the architecture of that space. And so it's exquisite. And there's so many inspiring pages in it. I'm so excited to read through this again. This is what I sat in bed at that at the Airbnb that we stayed in. And uh, yeah, I think I didn't say that before, but we stayed in an Airbnb and this is what the, the owner had in that home and it was amazing. So that's what I was reading at night there and I was like, I have to have my own copy. That's just beautiful. So I've got that just sitting open where I can really enjoy looking at it. Even when I just walk by, I get to see it and I love that, how you can use books you can use books as art. And then the other little things, I just have my stack of my books that you guys have seen so many times. I've got uh, Eight Homes and Manolo Blahnik, and I'm hoping that H&M uh, might come out with these again. I just love the little zebra print. I think it's really fun, and I've got a little coaster sitting in it at the moment. It's nice to have a little place to stash some coasters out, and I just think that those little boxes are nice, but they do sell these in some different patterns, so I will link those up for you guys as well. So there you go. I thought that would be really fun just to kind of show you how we put the house back together. Uh, I did buy the Cleopatra and uh, Pharaoh bust and the flowers, but other than that, there's nothing else that we bought post-holidays for this space, and so I think it's fun when you're right after the holidays, you're trying to figure out what to do with your space and how to make it still feel like it's put together and it's not depressing or too empty, I say pack it in. Because when summer comes, I know myself. I, I'm still like, when summer comes, am I gonna take the mirror down? Because I pair back a lot during spring and summer. I'm not really sure. So you guys let me know if you think that the mirror should stay or if it should come back down and we should go back to being a little bit more paired back for spring and summer. I always love to hear from you guys. But I, I just love that you can really take what you got and make something really special. If you don't have enough things, if you're kind of struggling, a lot of times when I visit with my clients, they just don't have enough stuff. There's not enough to work with. And so I'll add a few accessories into the space and it will just completely transform it. So I hope I've given you lots of, of inspiration today. I'll leave as much as I can link down below for you so you can check all that out and shop if you're looking for a couple of little accessories or a lamp maybe. And don't, don't forget to hit subscribe and I give the video a big thumbs up if you love living room chores. And let me know if you wanna see more rooms of the house. And uh, yeah, we've got some big projects coming up this year. So it's gonna be a fun year. I am so excited about this year. I can't stand it. I'm just so excited. There's so many good things coming. It's gonna be amazing. So I'm excited about exploring all that with you guys. And yeah, so cheers you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.